Hi, learning is fun with Radha Srinivas. We should never forget what nuclear weapons can do to human beings. 75 years later, since bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, 6th and 9th August of 1945, the threat of nuclear weapons still remains. War can never be the solution and there is no alternative to the peace. Here is an interesting story. Would you like to read with me? So let's move. The Sword of Peace Once upon a time, there was a precious sword. Now, the sword belonged to a great king. And for as long as anyone could remember, the king spent all his time in his palace, enjoying his shows and parties. One day, a great dispute broke out between this king and the king of a neighboring country. It ended with both declaring war. The sword was greatly excited at the prospect of taking part in its first real battle. It would show everyone how truly brave and special it was and would become renowned throughout the kingdom. On the way to the front line, the sword imagined itself and the winner of many battles. However, when they arrived, the king first battle had already taken place and the sword got to see the results of war. What it saw had nothing in common with what the sword had imagined. No elegant shining knights, triumphant with their weapons, gleaming in the sunlight. Instead, all the sword saw was broken weapons and hordes of hungry and thirsty men. There was hardly any food left. Everything was covered in dirt and shrouded in a disgusting smell. Many were half dead and scattered on the ground bleeding from the multiple wounds. At this, the sword realized it liked neither wars nor battles. It decided it preferred to live in peace and spend its time taking part in tournaments and competitions. So, on the night before what was going to be the big final battle, the sword tried to find a way to prevent it from taking place. After a while, the sword started to vibrate. First, it gave out a low buzz, but this gradually got louder until it became an annoying metallic noise. The swords and armor of the soldier asked the king's sword what it was doing. It told them, I don't want there to be a battle tomorrow. I don't like war. One answered, no one likes it, but what can we do? Make yourself vibrate just like I'm doing said the king's sword. If we make enough noise, no one will sleep. So the weapons started vibrating and the noise became deafening. It was so loud that it reached the enemy camp and the weapons there, who were equally sick of the war, joined the protest. The next morning, when the battle should have begun, not 
a single soldier was ready to fight. No one had managed to get even a wink of sleep, not even the kings or the generals. So they spent the whole day catching up on sleep. During the evening, they started to wake up and decided to put off the battle for the next day. However, the weapons led by the king's sword spent the night repeating their peace song and again no soldier could rest. The battle had to be postponed yet again and this carried on for the next seven days. On the evening of the seventh day, the kings of the two armies met to see what they could do about the situation. Both were furious from their previous dispute, but after being together for a while, they started to discuss their sleepless nights, the surprise on their soldiers' faces, the confusion of the day with night, and the amusing situation all this had created. It wasn't long before both were laughing like friends at these little stories. Fortunately, they forgot their old disputes and they put an end to the war, each returning to their own land with the double joy of not having had to fight and having regained a friend and from then on, from time to time, the kings would meet up to talk about their life. Say no to war, yes to peace. This is Radha Srinivas signing off.